how double holds a decimal. The long, the short, the byte, and the int variables cannot hold a decimal. Only the double can hold a decimal. But the float can also hold a decimal. However, float does not hold as much as a double. And you won't use a float as much as you would a, uh, a, a double variable. Like, uh, unless like you have a similar situation, as I mentioned earlier, that you need um, you need some variables to take up less memory in a program in a large program. However, something's a little bit different with float. Whenever you're assigning a float number, you have to put an F on the end. As you can see, I had an error there, a type mismatch error that Eclipse tells me about. It's a this is an actual. Uh, double number unless I put an F on the end to indicate that it's float. And you, and like byte and short, you probably won't use um, float very much. Okay, so we'll go here. In Boolean, all it can hold is true or false. Now, I'll explain a little bit more later on about what a uh, like what a Boolean expression is and um, how you can use it to um, to evaluate uh, certain situations with uh, variables and expressions that you might encounter but just know for now that a Boolean can hold a Boolean variable can hold either true or false okay alright a char variable can hold a single character of any any character you want, any character you want to put in here, uh, whether it's a letter or a number, it doesn't matter. You can put, you can assign it to seven, but it's not the same as say assigning that to seven. All this is is a is a character, and um, I'll explain a little bit more in uh, in later videos about why they're different and uh, well I'll show examples of why they're different but just know that now that a char variable can hold a single character doesn't matter if it's a number or a uh, or a letter and I'll, I'll go ahead and discuss this extra one here and it's not actually a data type however it is commonly thought of as one because it's used so much and uh, it's used almost in the same context. Um, a string, and y as you notice here, it's not highlighted and it's not colored in purple like these uh, other data types because it's not a true data type. It's actually a class and what I'm doing here is declaring uh, I'm creating a new object uh, a new string object cool and setting it to this string reference variable test 9 but um, the reason I put it in here is just it's just so commonly used and um, and I just thought I'd go ahead and add that in there so here you have it uh, nine, a little more than my original eight that I was going to discuss. You have nine different variables that you can use here, and I, I'll just go ahead and print them out for you. Just to show. See, now I'm just going to print this test variable onto the console here. Now I'm going to run this program, which will go through and set all of these variables equal to the numbers that I've uh, told them to be assigned to. And I can print them out with this system.out.println. Oh, let me raise this up a little bit. There you see it, 7. I printed out the variable test, which is set to 7. 
and printed it onto the console here. Go ahead and print test5 on there. And there, 265.5 because that's what test5 is equal to. And I'll go ahead and put test9 on there as well. And this is just to kind of demonstrate how these each of these variables holds their information and it prints cool down on the bottom here and uh, that's pretty much um, the different types of variables that can be used and uh, the different types of information that can go in them alright hope you enjoyed it thank you